Metallurgy is the science of making things out of metals, and vacuum is crucial for a huge number of processes used in metals manufacturing. It's vital in the making of aircraft turbine blades, car valves and gears, satellite components, aircraft landing gear, hip joints, and even the striking surface of golf clubs. All are products which help the world move faster, more efficiently, and go with a swing. In the metallurgical market, high levels of vacuum are typically used in melting, casting, surface coating, and the assembly of metal parts. Creating high-performance special alloys, casting them into highly complex shapes, applying special surface coatings, heat treating to enhance service life and reliability, and assembling intricate and high-strength components. Edwards provides vacuum products for almost everything that needs to be done in these metallurgical processes. Melting under vacuum is the process by which the metals are purified and mixed to create alloys, creating high-purity titanium, for example, or the recipes of specialised high-performance steels. There are two main vacuum production techniques. Vacuum induction melting, used mostly for the creation of special steel alloys, and vacuum arc remelting, used particularly in the production of pure titanium. Casting can create complex metal shapes required by a manufacturer for specialised components. Two major techniques are used, both of which are vacuum dependent. Precision investment casting is used to form high strength alloys into highly complicated shapes like turbine blades or hip joints for example. And metal injection moulding used in making products with complex shapes that would be otherwise difficult to machine such as high speed twist drills. Surface coating processes include low pressure carburizing and plasma nitriding. These processes put carbon and or nitrogen atoms into the surface of steel components, making the surface extremely tough and hard wearing to give a long service lifetime. They're used for many products in car manufacture such as crankshafts and gears. Heat treatments typically involve tempering and annealing. The metal components are heated to change the material surface properties to relieve stresses or remove brittleness. This heating is done under vacuum to avoid contamination or reaction with atmospheric gases, including moisture, which could attack the metal. The best known usage here is electron beam welding, using electron beams to weld a number of complicated components together with an ultra pure join. As in heat treatment, the use of a deep vacuum completely avoids problems with the weld being attacked by atmospheric gases. Brazing is another process by which metals are welded together. A brazing material like a solder is used, which melts when heated and joins the components. Vacuum is again vital to exclude atmospheric gases. For all these processes, vacuum does a number of things. It avoids reactions between the atmosphere and the metal, which can cause oxidation, carburization or night riding, for example. It ensures the homogeneity of the metal. It helps achieve high purity levels by removing gases and lighter impurities. It helps remove gas from moulds to achieve small and complex non-machinable shapes without the risk of defects. And it assures good control for surface treatment reactions. In other words, in all these processes, vacuum is key. Generally, for the tougher applications where there may be additional problems of process dusts or vapours, for example, dry vacuum pumping is used. But for the simpler, lighter applications, so-called wet or oil-sealed vacuum pumps can be more cost-effective. 
Edwards GXS Dry Screw Vacuum Pump is the flagship product in this marketplace. The GXS sets new standards of high reliability, high performance, long service intervals and low cost of ownership. It's very simple to install and operate and most importantly it's a green pump with a low environmental impact. Green pumping means reduced carbon footprint. These pumps consume less electrical energy, don't use hydrocarbon oils, have a smaller installation footprint, are low noise and for a pump operating at just below 7,000 RPM are very low vibration. More importantly, they have an energy saving mode which reduces power consumption markedly when in standby. All these factors impact the bottom line and add up to a significantly greener product. Of course, the GXS pump is not the only high quality vacuum pump in the Edwards portfolio in the metallurgy market. For extremely large applications such as steel degassing plants, the high speed IDX 1300 dry screw vacuum pump can also be used. And when significantly higher pumping speeds are needed, a range of roots type mechanical vacuum boosters is available. For processes like melting and casting, when even deeper vacuum is required, vapour boosters or diffusion pumps can be added. For simpler vacuum metallurgy processes, Edwards proven and reliable wet pump technology has a worldwide reputation for quality and performance. The Stokes Microvac Rotary Piston Pump, another Edwards product, is widely used around the world. And the Edwards EV range of rotary vane pumps finds many applications in smaller and simpler heat treatment applications. Our global application experts have the appropriate knowledge on all these processes and applications. And our worldwide network of Edwards service centres and authorised service partners offer Edwards full support to any customer anywhere. Edwards is helping customers at the cutting edge of metallurgy, in aerospace, in construction, vehicle manufacture, the medical market and in many other areas. In terms of materials, titanium's use in aviation will increase hugely and many titanium producers are currently converting old vacuum technology to new dry pumping techniques. Steel alloys are becoming stronger and more durable, so cars will become lighter, will use less material, but will remain equally strong. An important factor in the future of transport. And more special alloys treated under vacuum will be required to further save fuel and energy. The high-tech medical market will also grow. Titanium plates and screws for broken bones, Ball joints replacing hips, knees and other worn out joints will become increasingly commonplace. And vacuum is key to ensuring that metallurgy remains at the very cutting edge.